Hi guys, my name is Jess McDonald. It's the 9th of April and you're watching GameSpot News. Symptoms may include an increased awareness of video game news and an irritation at stupid people being stupid. Someone really hit the nail on the head with that second one today because the study's been conducted to say that gamers get more frustrated when the controls of a game are frustrating. I'm glad someone went all Captain Obvious and figured that one out. According to the study from Oxford University, levels of aggression aren't actually correlated with the violence in games, but rather the frustration of not being able to master the controls. So it's more likely to be games that are unreasonably difficult or unfamiliar to the subject, which evoke the angry violent feelings. Apart from having an insane amount of consonants in his last name, researcher Dr. Andrew Przybliski has also contributed. We focused on the motives of people who play electronic games and found players have a psychological need to come out on top when playing. If players feel thwarted by the controls or the design of the game, they can wind up feeling aggressive. He also added that players on games without any violent content were still feeling pretty aggressive if they hadn't been able to master the controls or progress through the levels at the end of the session. That actually makes a lot of sense. I take back my mocking from earlier. Let me know what you think. That Borderlands pre-sequel is officially coming as confirmed by 2K Games, but it won't be moseying over to the Xbox One or PS4. It turns out the leaked information earlier this week was pretty damn accurate though. The game is set on Pandora's moon and you can play as one of Handsome Jack's four lieutenants, one of which is Claptrap himself. There's a new cryo effect so you can freeze your foes as well as laser weaponry and Oz packs which will supply oxygen when you're out on the moon and function as jetpacks. The game is being developed mainly mainly out of 2K Australia, so be sure to hit us with your apt and mildly stereotypical predictions as to what we'll see in the new installment. And finally, The Last of Us is coming to PS4 and in 1080p no less. The remastered edition will be landing this summer with all the previously released single and multiplayer DLC as well as high-res character models, textures and improved shadows and lighting. They're also currently shooting for 60 frames per second according to creative director Neil Druckmann. Alongside all that there will be director's commentary for all in-game cinematics. The PSN store and various retailers have been listing the title for 60 bucks. There are also a bunch of extra single and multiplayer mode pre-order bonuses, the details of which you can find in our new story on GameSpot now. Let me know if you're interested in picking this one up either in that comment section down below or you can let me know on my Twitter where I'm at Jess McDonald. Those are all the things that I want to tell you about today but I'll have a bunch more news tomorrow so be sure you check back with me then.